One other thing I forgot to that ice cap made in the back of me. I was complaining in another video about how hot it is. I think last year. Definitely stay hydrated. Drink a ton of water. Got a pool? Now's the time to use it. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's trying to find a way to beat the heat because it is torture out here today. It's been torture for like a week or so, even longer. And it just feels like it's gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter. So I hope everybody's just doing what they can to stay safe, stay cool, stay hydrated, doing whatever they have to do. You know, my air conditioning in my car just busted. <laughs> you think it always has to happen on, on uh, a day like this. You know, and I can't even get the car into the, the shop until tomorrow morning. So I gotta still go through this anyway, but hoping everybody is staying as cool as possible, not really staying in the sun too much. A lot of, you know, overheating and people having sunstroke and that kind of thing. It's hot, you know, and then you throw on the, these things on top of everything, it's making it even harder and harder for everybody to breathe. But you know, this is, these are the days we're living. This, this is the type of environment that we have to uh, adapt to. So, um, the fact that it's so hot and not being able to breathe and my air condition being busted, it kind of triggered me to put a video together of giving you guys some tips of staying as cool as possible and you know staying safe so hopefully you enjoy these tips definitely stay hydrated drink a ton of water definitely stay hydrated drink a ton of water definitely stay hydrated there's absolutely no substitute for water you can never have enough of it if you could avoid going out I definitely recommend that you do so. Stay indoors if you have nowhere that you have to go. Extra type of physical activity outdoors, choose not to. If you could avoid going out, I definitely recommend that you do so. Stay indoors if you have nowhere that you have to go. Obviously, <laughs> you want your air conditioner to be functioning. And if you're not in the air conditioned area, try to find a place that you could hang out, at least during the peak heat times of the day that is air conditioned. Oh, and a quick side note, if you are gonna stay in home and you have central air condition, uh, you see how you have that vent that's right up there? Try to avoid staying right under it because you could get other issues that happen because of that, because you might be sweating and then you have the cold air hitting you, and then you might have other issues that might come out. You get stiff, uh, your nerves might get a little <sighs> jolted because of the cold air and the sweat. So avoid staying directly under the vents if you don't have to. Uh, you know, if you have an air conditioner that actually works uh, properly, you don't have to stay right under the vent to get cool. Here's an interesting fact. I don't know why this exists, but Males are more prone to be affected by heat than females. Just another thing that we have uh, as males, uh, something against us. <laughs> but definitely the people that get most affected by the heat and extreme type of situations like this are obviously our elderly, uh, small children, uh, days like this, people that are working outside are seriously affected because not only are they dealing with the heat they have the sun that's just beaming on them cooking them as the day goes on so that's a lot of uh exposure to the heat and you're talking about a situation where people could get really really you know for not lack of a better word really messed up so those are definitely people that should be cautious days that you have a little bit of air a little bit of wind going on opening all the windows up 
gets a nice breeze going through the house. But on a day like this, it is way too hot. Uh, there's no wind. All it is is just pure heat. It's like you're sitting in an oven. It definitely keeps you hydrated along with keep cooling you off throughout the whole day. You know, sometimes people even like to show, soak their t-shirt and put it on because I promise you it's not going to take too long uh, walking in this heat before it actually gets dry. Now, if you don't have air condition, I hope, I really hope that you do at least have a fan because if you don't, you're going to be miserable. Why the clouds look so nice? on such miserable days. If you have the opportunity to and uh, availability to be able to take a couple of cold showers throughout the whole day, that definitely does help. So you definitely don't want to stay in your car for extended periods of time, especially if it's idle. Um, regardless if your air condition is working or not, my air condition is not working at the time and I'm losing my mind, but even if it was working, you shouldn't stay in your car for extended periods of time because even though the air condition is cooling you off from one end, you have the sun beating and coming in through the windows and it's basically cooking you and it's always high, hotter inside the car than what it is on the outside. So you want to be as you know mindful of that and not have to stay in the car extended period of times if you don't have to stay in the car and uh, especially with the air conditioned effect that I was uh, mentioning. It's kind of like what I was saying with the vents inside the house. Uh, you don't want to be sweating and having cold air hitting you at the same time. It causes a lot of other issues um, where you're not going to be feeling that great about it uh, after. Um, the other thing is, you see how I'm opening my window. I always keep it as a policy to keep the window the crack open throughout the like uh, throughout the whole car. I, I try to keep it uh, somewhat circulating or ventil uh, ventilated, even when I'm not in there. Now, obviously, depending on what area we're in and how safe it is, whatever the case is, you're kind of nervous about leaving windows partially open. But if you're in a relatively safe area, or especially if you're parked at your house or in your driveway, in your uh, garage or whatever the case is, keep a crack, the window crack open. Don't let it become like a furnace because you'll literally be walking into an oven. Uh, if you have everything closed, especially if it's being, you know, bombarded by sunlight all day. I talked about a lot that everybody should keep definitely keep a mind of is try not to drink any alcohol during these uh, extreme temperatures because they have a tendency of dehydrating you. It could cause you some severe kind of stuff if you drink too much alcohol. Uh, during heat, uh, I mean, everybody I know has, you know, the temptation to like crack open some cold, cold beers, and uh, you know, you, you could probably get away with a couple, but I would avoid it at all costs because um, it's definitely gonna do more harm than good. Uh, stick to the water, stick to other stuff that's cold, and I don't know, you want some flavor, drink some Gatorade. You know, but try to avoid the alcohol. Dress lightly, uh, wear light colors. Um, try to wear gar garments where you know your skin is not super exposed by the sun as well, uh, because you don't want to have other issues where you get extreme sunburns either. But uh, be ma be very mindful of what you're wearing. Uh, try to pick a very thin and uh, very breathable type of fabrics or materials. Uh, definitely gonna help you out a lot one other thing I forgot to mention is because of the extreme heats everything is getting overheated super hot scorching and I always have the tendency of putting my arm on the window like that and I always get burned try not to do that it always happens where I lean on a car when I'm trying to put stuff in or whatever the case is I get burned every time too so, keep mindful of that. Pick up and... Let's 
sunblock definitely goes a long way these days. Don't get cheap on something. The thing sunblock. is, if you got a pool, now's the time to use it. It is so damn hot. I'm about to dump my head into that ice cabinet. Or that. One of the things that happen when you're going through heat exhaustion, obviously you're sweaty. Uh, you get dizziness. Uh, you get kind of clammy. Uh, you get cool to the touch, which is very, you know, strange. What you should do under these conditions is definitely find some shade, uh, try to get some rest, and you should definitely start sipping some water, drink a lot of water. And then hopefully you see a change happen sooner than later. Now some symptoms of heat stroke are definitely a lot more severe. One, you get a super high temperature, your, your, you start your pulse starts thumping and getting a little erratic um uh, sweatiness forget about it you get super sweaty skin starts to dry out you get headaches uh you could even lose consciousness we're talking about you know you could get pretty severe you start seeing symptoms like that you better call 911 definitely call 911 uh do everything you can to cool down and basically start hydrating and you know just take it really really serious i hope this video helped everybody um as much as humanly possible at the same time if i'm able to advise one person from avoiding heat exhaustion then my job is done uh be aware be careful Share this video with uh, anybody that you think might appreciate it. And if you do appreciate it yourselves, uh, please uh, press the thumbs up button as a like. And subscribe to the video if you want to be able to see uh, other upcoming videos that we're releasing. Uh, stay safe, stay cool, and I'll be back with you shortly. I'm hot, I'm miserable, sweating bullets. Gotta wear a damn mask because of this coronavirus. But I'm still doing it with a smile because I'm selling real estate.